That's an exercise in octaves, where we have an octave jump within each beat. You notice on some of the beats I change fingerings as I move up the octave. But that's not necessary, and within that lies the hidden lesson in this. It's a basic principle of brass instruments like this, that any fingering that works in one octave will work in an upper octave. So, for example, the written D in treble clef or the C concert, we play with either one and three or with a fourth valve, which you can't see down here. I'll use one and three for demonstration. But I can keep one and three as I go up the octave. Or up another octave. When I'm practicing this exercise, I like to play it the first time through, just as I did, using normal fingerings. The second time through, I'm going to slur each pair of eighth notes. And in that situation, it is logical and practical sometimes to keep the same fingering as the lower octave as you move up the slur. And there you have a brief introduction into the wonderful world of alternate fingerings. Thanks for listening.